Hello everyone, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a simple web service by using Apache Camel with Spring Boot. So this is the implementation that I have completed and I have started a server. If we go to Postman, this is the endpoint that I have created and this is the path and it accepts one parameter called name and it will return a response of hello world with the name that I passed in. So let's say I send it again. Yeah, so this is the result. So let's say I change it to another name. It will be changing as well. So now let me start the server and begin with the explanation of the implementation. So for demo, I have created an empty Maven project over here. So if we refer to the documentation, this is the documentation I have referred. We can use REST ESL to define REST services. So there are some components that has native REST integration such as Netty, HTTP, Servlet, and so on. So in this video, I'm going to use Servlet and this is the rest uh dependency that i need so let me define it in the home.xml over here i will create a dependency block and paste in the dependency block that i copied from and then i also need some other components camera components so i will just uh, copy this dependency camera call to the project and yeah, Spring Boot, of course. Let me paste it and refresh the Maven to resolve the dependency. And moving on, we can actually create a main class. But first, let me create a package and create the main class. I will just name it as application. And for this class, it will consist of the main function, public static board main function to run the application. So I will use Spring application run this class. And I will note that this class as Spring Boot application so that it can enable the auto configuration and the component scaling. So I will create another class called Endpoint. And I note this as component so it can be scanned. Then for this class, it will actually extending rock builder and then for rock builder there is one method that we need to implement called configure so for this configure we can actually define our rest endpoint over here by using rest and then define our base url between. and then what is the request type like get pause uh, delete and so on so for our case i use get and then an additional URL need to be defined. Yeah, okay. That's hello world. And what this endpoint is going to produce? It will going to produce a plan tag. And then the return type, the out type is string. That's a string, which is the plan tag. So as you can see just now. There is an input parameter called name, so we can actually define our parameter over here and set name, what name, and then what's the type of this uh, parameter is going to be query. But you can see there is some other that can be set like power, header, form, data, body. But for our case, I will just use query parameter. And that's it that I want to configure for the parameter. So once we receive a request for this endpoint, we can actually direct it to another component. So I will name this direct hello world for further processing. 
So this will actually create the direct component over here and process the request or response. So for my case, I will just set the response body to the hello world string. So hello world, and then I want to retrieve the value, name value that the user passing. So I will schedule the name by using the simple expression language over here. So that's it. Let me start the server. So from here, we can see the server has been started on port 8080. And there are two routes that has been started up. First is the direct color world, which we define over here. The second is the rest endpoint, which we define over here. So that me put up the postman and the other request. So our code is 8080, but we need to change this to camera and explain this letter and send the request. So it will return me hello world to let me try to add it to like user. Send it again and then it will return me hello world user. So that's the basic uh, implementation that we can configure. So there are some extra configuration that we can meet. So for the first one, why I need to change this from rest to table. So um, if we go back to our documentation, so I'm using servlet, we open it up, go to Spring Boot Auto Configuration. If I scroll down, um, there's one parameter that Spring Boot help us to set to camel. So we didn't override it. So by default it was in camel. So we can actually copy this and then go back and then create a file called application dot properties in this resources directory is the uh, property and override it so it set it to maybe rest api and then let me restart the server so the server has been restarted and then can make a call again to make sure it doesn't work so it will return a 404 resource not found error because the path has been changed to press api and let me call again and then as you can see the res response that we saw just now and then there's another thing that we can configure over here is the port number as you can see just now i changed for 8090 to 8080 so this is the default port number that uh, Tomcat is using. So we can just change it by using, by overriding another property called server.port. Maybe we can change it to 8888. Let's stop the server and start again. So at the moment, the server has been restarted. If I go to Postman and send the same request again, it doesn't work. So let me change the port number to 8888. And then this is it, the response. So that's all for this video. So in this video, I have set up a simple endpoint with uh, Apache Cable and Spring Boot. Thank you.